last time on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got Watch another out. good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. When you got it, boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> God. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. The game series adapts to the choices you make that story is tailored by how you play. Let's get it. In your association with Skybound and King. Where's Lee? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Three months later. Die. <laughs> oh. Get right. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Ah, <sighs> well. That's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. I completely uh, forgot about that. It's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. I completely forgot he was in the story. <laughs> When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, bro. Don't come to my wife yeah, like that. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. you have to ask Lily. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Uh, he's got family to look out for. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. Yeah, Larry don't like me, man. Uh. He thinks dangerous. I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker. But the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. <laughs> I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Never forget that moment, bro. Betrayal. It sounds like things aren't going too well for the group. Like, at all. Force the noise, shoot it, make shots. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me, if I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Yep, waste. Ah! Shit, was that Kenny? Oh, no. I don't know. Come on! Gee, 
Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teachers, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. No. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear uh, trap out here? I don't ready. know, man. It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Can't chill out. We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. Please, this is fucked up. We gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just yeah. see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit, walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Got the chain. Come on, do something! You won't die. I promise. Please! Please Let me do out. something! Yes, Please hurry! It'll totally work. Keep It'll break in ten years. He's a slut already! Please hurry yeah. up! You use chain like that at the Air Force Base to lift ordnance. You're not cutting Oh, Jesus, those things are gonna be here soon. Try to cut the chain! Okay. There's so Try much blood. Ah. Stop, stop, stop! Ouch. Let's go, let's All right, go! Well, oh, God. I have to do the service. It's only right. There's gotta be a- I t promise, I Lee, promise, I don't now. enjoy doing this, okay? I promise, but-, but No, I'm no, no! Try the trap again! Anything! Damn it, Lee, just cut off his fucking leg! So scared. We don't have time for that. Uh, I'm sorry, but we uh, have to go, now! It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Oh no. Come on! Come oh on! Oh god! Yeah, the guy's so dead. What happened? Oh, what hell that? What's going on? I don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! Very fixable. 
What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking oh, minute? No, your mouth. I don't. Um, I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a life. good idea. I thought we could save his life. By I'm the one that took his leg. His leg that off. makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We no, are I not responsible agree. for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, that's me. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of wow. us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine. You guys fight it out then. Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This no. isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, Any come problem? on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's, Kenny's right. right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge of people's lives. This is really? an unbiased opinion. You weren't there. Lee made a choice. End of story. Look, once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. Exactly. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, wow. he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. Who we simply you, don't lady? have enough food. So what I, I don't got. see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Definitely got more balls than you. Come on, Larry. You know what? If you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. Wow. She is so lazy. That's all the food it. we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. That's it? No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Well, good thing. I have favorites. Ha ha. You only have four food items for ten hungry people. Well, Larry's a no. Lily, she's a jerk, so no. He, he's new, so no. Um, he's new also, so no. The guy who's about to die with the leg chopped off, um, that's no. I mean, it's obvious he's bleeding out on the truck. Uh, I mean, I got like half the people already done for. It. All right. So, is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. Eh, it's alright. Go walk. Uh... It's what your husband wanted. Oh, freak, I just lied. Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go uh, ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. For some reason, my mind went blank and I, I couldn't read the other two. I literally just lied so that Kenny could take the blame instead of me. <laughs> Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. Ah... So this place is no good. Alright. We dug through those for food a long time ago. You. TMI. Alright. Got some cans. Most likely already eaten. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Dang, I hate Larry so much. All right. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Good for her. 
All right, man. Let's get to know you. Who are hey. you? What's your name? You holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. Having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah. No, I liked it. I just I hope mean... Kanja can save him. Uh, Lily's mad. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Parasites? Jeez, bro, you're a parasite. Leave. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Not giving him Need any food. help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Oh no. What a hard choice. Should I give it to Larry or give it to Mark? Hmm. It's a difficult choice, but I'm gonna have to give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You, you didn't think to give me the axe? No, Come on, like Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Uh... <laughs> uh... Uh... I was yeah, gonna lie and say right. I never said and it. what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is. But you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. Sheesh. Not cool, Mark. Not cool. I was literally about... <laughs> I was about to just... <laughs> Just lie and say I never said that to Mark. <laughs> Lily wants to ditch Lily people. thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Okay. You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Wow, not much of a talker. Keep up on that fence. Though. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Jeez, you don't have to be so mean. Hmm. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. Hey, Clem, you want to go play some soccer? Oh, freak. I want to talk to How Lily you doing, first. Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? You don't know. Uh, sure. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Alrighty. Hello, Lily. You want to talk? I'm not giving you food because you suck. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now and it's working. For now. Yeah, at some point a bunch of zombies are gonna come over and eat us all. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Yeah, Keep that's an fine. eye out. Fine. <laughs> it's not like we've already been trying to do that. <laughs> Hello, newbie. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other what way. What was I supposed to do? Leave him to die? So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. Yeah, Ben. How you holding up? How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, 
I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I get it, I get it. Um... I'm hmm. sure you did all you yeah. could. Yeah, maybe. I mean, look at him. That's all he Relax. Could do. <laughs> we'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. All right, Clementine, definitely gonna give you food. You doing okay? Uh. How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? He'll be fine. I think he'll be fine. He'll be, he'll be fine. Oh, he'll be fine. that's good. I'm so hungry, Lee. I hope I get to eat soon. People have enough blood in their systems. It's okay. Here's some food. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay, what do you think she'd like to eat? Crackers and cheese, give half an apple, jerky, probably not. An apple, half of it? No, nah, that's not enough food. So, let's go ahead and give you some crackers and cheese. Okay, a sundae would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Yep. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? Yeah, whatever, shit it. Alright, I have to give him food since he's a kid, but let's talk to him first. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't a know. lion. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> what is it? You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Sure. Hey, Duck. How about a little food? <laughs> Look at his face. Oh my gosh. Alright. Hmm. What should I give you? I'll give you crackers and cheese too, your kid. What other yeah! Thing? Oh man, I'm so hungry! Yeah, they better appreciate it. I'm not eating anything. <laughs> Alright. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Understandable. Drugstore? Yeah. Yeah, we should have took some more drugs. Going out of food, which Lily need? has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food. Even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. All right, Want something to eat? Give half an Have apple. an apple, Carly. God, I used to eat an apple every morning with some granola and six almonds, and that wasn't enough even then. But you know what? Yes. I knew she'd like an apple. She just seems like the apple kind of person. Keep the last piece of food for yourself, save the last piece of food for someone else. I'm gonna give the jerky to Kenny because he seems like a jerky guy. Oh, uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. And I'm They're the main the character, so I'm not gonna die from hunger. Come on. I have the power of right. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Can I come with you? Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. Thanks, man. You're my bestie. It's a smart idea. Coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. It is a good idea. This place sucks. Leave, leave Lily and let... I was gonna say Lenny. Larry, because nobody likes him. Want something to eat? Here, Jerky. Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. 
Yup, Kenny's my favorite. Other than Clem, obviously. Not such an easy job, is it? Nope. Well, yes. <laughs> he is so mad at me, Mark. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Yep. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? <laughs> There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Wow. So ungrateful. I don't feed him. Ken, Lee, like, come, come here, on, please. Man. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Uh, let him go. Let him go, Kaja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Oh, come well, at on, least it was not easy. Problem I could have done it. What about the other kid? Uh, oh, shit. I completely forgot about that. Katra shall not die. No. I wonder if they've actually let her die. Uh, no. You're ugly. Stop! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! Get off! I was moving. Move, move. All right, this time, move. Move it off. Shit, Mark's gonna stop. miss like a loser. Jeez, bro. Get off me. Get off me. All right, now I need to move. Now I need to move. Now I need to move. Get off. There we go. Oh, no. Why I fed you probably. okay? Yeah, thanks. That's why I didn't feed you, Larry. Could have helped. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. You Thank said he wasn't person. bitten. What? We asked you point blank, was he bitten, and you said no. He wasn't. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. Oh, yeah. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Just like the show. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Ooh, Me and my brother, we, we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly... Are you armed? Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? 
We got plenty at the dairy. We need food. Feed us. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with Obviously you. you won't I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? Uh, okay. You've got a deal. Fine. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Okay. Good for it's you. nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for a leader? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry, Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was the senator? Bro. Somehow, I ended up getting locked You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see I it did that not way. Remember that. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? No. Where are you from? My name's Larry. Moved around a lot, I grew up in Macon. Grew up I grew Macon. up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh... We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Uh... Enough to defend Enough ourselves. to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Uh... Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who else. are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fuck you knew who were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it up. There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! That's Fuck a waste you! Of ammo. Jesus! Hey. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. You got Mark aiming the gun like he's gonna freaking hit the shot. Come on, bro, you got the worst aim out of all of us. Couldn't even hit that freaking bird. Ah, beautiful day in the wilderness. Well, outside. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Sure. Multiple zeros is a good thing. Math. Ever have any accidents? Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. 
You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting, hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mom. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh... We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Uh... We're awful, We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. Shut up, bro. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Don't give her too much It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you She's come help me suck. out in the kitchen? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Wait, so she has the pistol and the sniper now? Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh... When you make sure this place is safe. Before we can think about Mark. bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal. The swing doesn't Maybe matter. there's other things not working the that fence. I just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Hey, nothing lasts forever, so it's a good idea. Alright, bro, let's talk real quick. There's nothing to talk about. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Ah, okay. What's this? Is this a crack in the fence? Hmm, pointy. Yeah, somebody could get impaled. This place is not safe. What's this? A generator. Obviously. What's that? Generator. You guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. All right. So how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Huh? <laughs> well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Uh, how many weapons We've do you scraped have? together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Good to know, good to know. I just want to know that for safety purposes, that's all. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> Is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. 
We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzling pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. Yes, these bad. generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Yeah. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, oh good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. I didn't want to you know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. Dang it. I wanted to look around the place more. Freak. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it's fine. So, Mark, how you doing? So, how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. Yeah, this is I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with you telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous? Look, you said it. You even admitted it right to him. Uh... I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Ugh, get off There's the one. zombie, bro. Ugh. That dude is burnt. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Or is it? What was that? Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Hopefully. I mean, you could just put your ear up against it. I mean, probably Looks make Looks like noise. he's stuck. Gotta take it off. Looks like he's stuck. Oh, uh, okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. Disgusting. Why is there an arrow in his head? Uh. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? That would be great. It's useless yeah, without well, gas. Well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. I mean, gas does go bad, right? I don't know how quickly, but... Uh... We've got enough people to take this place by force if we have to. Sheesh, Lee. You sound like Kenny. Well, I mean, if it's There's necessary. Another one. I see it. If we have to, I mean... Survival of the fittest, bro. Get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Ugh. Christ, I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Okay, bro. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. I mean, they got a whole farm. Like... Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> also, when it comes to gas, can't you just, like, make corn fuel? Or am I thinking of something else? <laughs> Because I'm pretty sure you can make fuel out of corn. But I don't know how hard it is to make it. I don't know if I'm correct. Holy oh, fuck! What oh, just geez. happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Not uh, what the? Get to the gate! Okay, Mark. Don't die. Get down! You asshole! Jesus! Who the fuck is that? No 
idea. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out. We had an agreement. and back to the house. Ah! They're on the Shit, road! That hurts. Don't hurt me, please. Can Man, Mark is you? messed up. I don't know how they're not going to do it. He's such an now obvious we're gonna thing. Take one Just stand right there. Did you really think you could fuck with us? What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down early. We're going to have to move it. out there holy shit are, are you okay bandits no. here on our property oh my lord what happened to you sweetheart it was those bastards in the woods mama yeah i'll be all right once it's out god damn it hurts hey y'all mark oh my god what happened he got shot with an arrow christ are you gonna be okay yeah i'm fine i should just pull it out oh no honey come on brenda's got you come on inside now We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Uh... Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. I Not agree. safe? For this once. place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's Great. real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Oh, Hope you kids like swings. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. 
Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Cool. All right. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end it off here. So far, it's been pretty good. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you would like me to continue with the series. I'm most likely going to finish all five episodes. Maybe even go through season two if you guys really like this season. But thank you for watching. Peace out.